Hey you guys, this is your girl Emmy Wu and welcome to the Wooism Awakening. Yes, it's been a long time since I have been on this platform, but I am back to give you readings, energy readings, and so much more. So I greet you with Ilafia. Greetings with all my heart. Greetings from the Oludumare. Greetings from the ancestors. Greetings from the Igbe. And greetings from all around the universe from me to you. Ashe. So tonight's reading is going to be based off of some this energy, this download. A lot of us have been having a lot of downloads at this time. A lot of us have been going through a lot at this time. So a lot of you know that I'm an intuitive reader, medium oracle, um, upon other things. So you will see me sometimes with cards and sometimes you will not see me with cards. So tonight we are going to do clarification. So I've been having a lot of number downloads about a flip, a flip of the six into the nine. And then this flip in the six to the nine, and then I got the 24, the 24 elders, and then the 24 elders to the 12 disciples. And in the six to the nine, I saw the six flip into a nine, which went into um, seeing a woman walking through a doorway with a gentleman named Larry Hoover. And today, earlier on my Facebook Live, there was a message that they, the guides had me to stop. And really was like, just wait till you go on your channel and speak what needed to be spoken there. Okay. So here's what I'm going to say. Because, you know, normally I get really raw and got a no sugar coat. I don't got time to sugar coat. And this is where we are at before I even pull these cards. It's for clarification for all of us and from the guides. Because, you know, to me, the guides do not tell no lies or no secrecy. Secrecy. They're going to tell you what the affirmation is to the information of the ear correctly. And not of my own opinion or not of my feelings, but the truth and nothing but the truth. Sorry, y'all. The sage is just like everywhere right now. We had to clarify, purify, and open up the doors. <laughs> So I just want to shout out to all the real, real, real people, truth speakers who are really walking in truth and really not hiding who they are at this time. Because we are in a serious, 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 serious warfare. Okay. And we don't have time to be judging and criticizing different mediums and different tarot readers and different oracles and shit. It's either get your shit together or don't get your shit together. Either move the fuck out the way or get in where you fit in, but do it correctly. Okay. So first and foremost, I'm going to thank Elegua Eshu for opening up the door. Without Elegua Eshu, we are nothing. Okay. I secondly want to thank the Oludumare. I want to thank Orumala for divining and giving the truth. And I thank the Ori, the Oracle, the Ori of all heads to give the whole thing of the destiny to where we're supposed to go from our starting point to our ending into the infinite place. Sorry about that. I had a string on me. I keep it real on here. I ain't got no time for to be. <laughs> there's a string. There's a string. Now, I, most of all, I want to thank the Iyami Osoronga, my mama Yeye Oshun. My mama, oh yeah, Yamuja, oh yeah, oh ba, Lakshmi, Kuan Yin, Lilith, Hika, all the deities, Lilith, um, all of the all of the feminine, and even Shango, and Ogun and Achosi and Obatala. Babaluaye, because a lot of you think that you are in cool waters right now. And I think Olokum and Ajay and Olosa and Inlil and Ibejis. I say Mojuba, Merafun Karafun to all Orisha and all divine gods and goddesses. Okay? I thank the dark for the truth. I thank the light for the truth. For we are the remnant and we are the barrier of all things. And the order must come. And I also thank the galactic and the celestial beings at this time. Okay. Ashe. How do you want to say it? Ashe. Amen. Namaste. Whatever works for you. Okay. So above, so below. So, like I said, 
there's a lot of different things happening right now. We are in spiritual warfare. There's a lot of killings that's happening at this time. There's a lot of children losing their lives at this time. There's a lot of um, sex trafficking still going on, but children losing their lives. Even in the midst of Chicago, so many children are losing their lives. Losing their lives. We just lost a young man that took 24 shots. 24 shots at 15 years old. My heart goes out to her, their aunt, Brandy Martin. At this time, I, my heart goes out. I want to mention her. And to her nephew that passed, that transcended, and then 15 years old just walking to the store. So my heart, if we can send salutations and love to that sister at this time. See, one thing we don't do, we don't give love to the community. We just worrying about what the next mofo is doing instead of our community. And our community is also part of our tribe. And we must learn to give back to our community in all that we can by thought and by presence. Not just by monetary, but by presence of the energy. And this is what's going on right now. We are not remembering our tribal ways. We're not remembering our tribal ways or what tribe or where we came from. Because everybody doesn't come from the same place. Not everybody comes from Sirius A or Sirius B or, or you're a Palladian or you're Octorian or whatever it is. We all are galactic beings, celestial beings having a human experience. But yet some of you are machines. Some of you are responders. Some of y'all are generators. And you must have to learn your human design to know how to fucking move on this planet and know how to move through these waters of this chess game right now. Period. Okay. It's not about lighting a candle and sending juju off to somebody. It's not about lighting candles. It's not like about your enchantments because you're not even chanting the correct way that your ancestors and your tribe even want you to do at this time. So here's, here's the thing. The ancient ones are so present at this time. Your ancestors, not just from the ancestors that walked with you, but the ancestors that came way before you. Your ancestors that came way before those ancestors and those ancestors, they're all present. Those who walked, that shed their blood on this land and righteousness of fight for you to have your freedom where you at, where you're still trying to put yourself in a blind spot is present at this time. There are doors opening that should not be opening at this time, but there are doors opening for a reason because they are sick and tired of trying to get you to help them. And you must want to be blindsided by the flesh and by temptation and don't want to listen to what the word that the word is coming to you. Okay. So what I'm going to do is read you, um, read the clarification why I got these six and this nine, because there was another to the 24 to the 12 disciples. Okay. A lot of things are being orchestrated. A lot of things are being orchestrated. A lot, a lot of things. To stop a lot of things of freedom and for the righteous of the true leaders to step back on their soil. To speak for not 40 acres and a mule, but for their righteous position of not just heritage, but of their abundance, of their bloodline. They're com that's coming forward. It's really coming forward. It's coming very strong. Okay? Coming very strong. Coming very strong. And you know, you don't have to believe what I say. If it resonates with you, resonate with you. If it strikes your DNA, it strikes your DNA. But I'm not here for that. I'm just here to deliver the message and keep on moving and doing what I'm supposed to be doing. Because everybody's not here to do the rightful thing. And also stay tuned because there is another video and I will speak upon the energies that's happening right now as well. That will be on the next video. But right now, this video is completely about the message that I got in my download. And the cards that I'm pulling is pulling from the hoodoo cards so you can get the corrective energy filled along with what I'm saying. Okay. Ashay. So the first things first that I'm going to ask the oracles the higher hierarchy oracles, okay, and the ancient ones that come down to, to my ethereal core to come down through me. 
I ask them to come and channel, connect with me, and walk with me through this voice to deliver the message. So the first thing we're going to talk about is Larry Hoover. And what did the six and the nine flip when I saw Larry Hoover walking through the six and the nine to the ninth? It was into the ninth gate. So some, they said, kept telling me somebody's straddling the fence. And today when I was on my Facebook, a, a message came through and said, there's paperwork being dishonored. There's some, somebody in the, in the, in the, within the circle playing around with some paperwork. Paperwork is being misplaced within the circle. And whoever can confirm, it doesn't matter. In order for this outcome to be what it needs to be, there needs to be a community chant. There's this portal. This portal is a 222 right now during this full moon. It's not just a 222. This 222, you know, going into the to the six, going into once the six, then the eight to the nine. Very crucial. There's a time. So what I got was there is something going on in the family circle pertaining of Mr. Hoover. Something going on within the circle. Something's not being said. Something's being hoodwinked. Something is being flipped. Somebody's straddling the fence and not telling something that needs to be here. They're showing the cloak. But see, in this, in the, the, this a family tie thing, it's a family tie thing that something is not being set up. And this is going to lead into the three of knives. So there's a cloak going on in the midst of the, 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 the release. There's a cloak going on. There's a covering. But not only that, in this covering, the woman is fertilizing the, the seed in, making the plan. And in this plan, in this plan, there's going to be a gathering, sitting at a garden. There's going to be a sacred place. There's going to be a sacred place. And this sacred place is showing me um, during this time that once this person is showing who the hell it is in the family ties, it's not doing all the paperwork and not all, not all that is showing and straddling the fence of what's going on for the release, this the dog is going to catch, the dog is going to catch that shadow of that, that person that's going to be dead gone and be done and clear. So then the fertilization seeding, seeding, the big mama's going to seed it and plant it the way that it needs to be. And while the daughters are sitting at the garden having the plan and the conversation, there is going to be a hope because like I said, there is, this is why there's somebody halting the situation at this time. They're saying there's a situation that somebody's halting and, 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 and they're saying, yo, wait, hold on. This got to be cleared out. This is what I'm getting. So family ties, somebody who act like their family ain't really family and is hidden. It's hidden. But the women are going to see, sit, and sip their tea and realize. And that's when the dog is going to be able to sniff out that shadow of that perpetrator. There will be the sticks, the ace of sticks, where the stand will be the, the hit of the ground when the, when the staff, the staff will hit the ground in the release. The release of the ancestors, the release of the ancestors, the release of the righteous is coming to set forth. Because if you look here, this is Masonic and the sun at the moon. This is a full moon right now. So the setting of the moon. At the full moon, at the full moon, but yet at another, at the, it's like at a waning moon. It's a waiting moon and in, in the Masonic way. Something, something coming from Pennsylvania. Something coming from Pennsylvania. Somebody that from Pennsylvania. Something from Pennsylvania. 
coming from Pennsylvania for PA. The relaxation on this particular moon of this cipher of this moon that's going to go into the a nine. Because during this six of this flip, Shango is coming, but Oya is going through the mass of a change. And Mother's going to be relaxed because all things are in order. Because of this has been set. Because during this moon, somebody's coming, some top person. This is it's a top person that has order, was working, and that was Masonic. So the ancestors are coming through. The staff was hit. Then somebody that was in the hierarchy during the cipher of this moon. It seems like a waning moon. And mother's going to be relaxed because everything's in order. Everything's in order. And if you look at her coin, the copper coin, everything that is copper, everything that is cool, this, this, this coin, this abundance, the cat is relaxing. Mother's like, okay, everything in order. Mother's like, okay, everything's in order because here come Big Mama. And Big Mama said, huh, oh, we ready. And as we do, like Big Mama represents the church, the food, the good food, the supper is good, everything eating good because everything's getting good for the release. Everything's in plan. Because now there ain't going to be no defeat. Ain't no going to be no more defeat, no more destruction in this walk. So when it came back to the 24, the flip of the 24, this is when the matriarch had came out, the elders. And the elders, the bird women, the feathers, the indigenous women, those of the, that know the code, know that know the enchantment is going to start chanting in the 24th hour. And all things that try to surround her, there's going to be a particular one who's going to open the gateway during this chanting of this freedom of Larry Hoover. And all things will come to blossom and the freedom of Larry Hoover takes place. All paperwork will be in alignment, making sure that the movement is in secrecy. As you can see, it's a seven. Everything is done. Everything is heard. Everything is in alignment. Things are off the gavel and it's done. Then Auntie comes in. Auntie is going to make sure that everything is photographed, signed, sealed, and delivered. What about the 12 disciples? Show me what you need to show me about the 12 disciples. The nine. Flip done by the Holy Grail. Oh, when my mama come again, everything, oh yeah, of the nine. Done, dead, gone, and done. Signed, sealed, and delivered. The righteous of the holy place will be in place and signed, sealed, and delivered on the land and protected and spoken for. The nine. Then here comes Big Mama again, the whole queen of all queens, of all tribes. All tribal lands will be in position to hear the sound and the utterance of the voice of Larry Hoover, Angel Bay, and Tookie. This is what the message was. When I seen the military, show me what the sign was, the military, when the military was shown to me. What was the military showing to me? I seen the military, right? And when I seen the military, I was talking to a, a spirit that came, a soldier that came from Wilkinsburg, Pennsylvania. It was a white man. And he took me to a lineup and he showed me drafting. He showed me children. The sons were being drafted. The sons were being drafted. And then when I went and it switched me to where I was underneath a hidden place and I saw war was cyber. It was like they were human, but cyber, their eyes were glowing. And I seen the cyber soldiers fighting regular, like our sons. And it was the battle. It was the battle of the machines against humans. It was a battle against the, the dark and the light, yet there's, there was light and dark. 
So this was either Sudan. It was like overseas battle. And this was the overseas. Have you ever heard of like rubbing the genie and making three wishes? This was like the military making their their whole wish, the flame. But there was a, a prominent, prominent man dressed in white with a turban. The train is coming. Let me explain this to y'all. When the train is coming, here comes the top gunner. Here's the overall thing. There's a war going on in the land. And Larry Hoover has the message. And Larry Hoover has the plan for his people. And all tribes of all lands from overseas in here must get an alignment. And for this alignment to happen, it was the six over the fence into the nine and into the nine into change of the position of all tribes and big mamas, all the matriarch in alignment, calling from the matriarch from the south, the north, the west, the east, all the way to the matriarch that's overseas, to a chanting that has to be called and be in position for the door to open. For all people to be in position of unity and love. There's a war going on. There's rituals going on. There are things trying to keep us away from knowing. We must awaken. We must seek freedom. The 24 elders it's also the 24 of your ancestor tribes each and every single one of you that lay in your dna the 12 disciples of the utterance of the chants the 12 is not just freedom fighters they are also the 12 that comes from each and every single one of your bloodlines See, here's the thing. Everybody just thinks this is a universal thing. It's a universal thing. It's a universal thing with family. The stick man is getting crooked man is getting ready to walk again. And the crooked man is getting ready to do some things. And the tribe leader is getting ready to ride on the horse in all positions, all Geechee leaders, all Haitian leaders, all island leaders, all overseas leaders. There's awakening going on. And the man dressed in white walking with the woman through the doorway, the six and the flip of the nine, breaking that wishbone. We got to walk in our light. We have to protect our children. This is a universal thing. This is a cosmic thing. Larry Hoover has the word of the star of King David. The blue and the red. The matriarchs of the tribes of the streets, the heads, where well, you see the woman and the man walking through the doorway, Larry Hoover, and the, the main matriarch coming to speak. Gather all, gather all, for the time has come to know who you all are. For the word that's in Larry Hoover and Angel Bay and Tookie. Some of y'all think Tookie's gone. Gonna be a man juggling on one wheel. Laughing his ass off thinking you think this is a joke, but this ain't is bigger than what you see. 
with the blue and the red at the crossroads speaking universal the universal message to activate all tribes to activate all things the awakening is here you think that it's just a black thing you think it's just a human fucking thing i don't think so everybody is getting tested with the piper of the calling Everybody's bloodline is at a war that you don't even see in the spiritual realm. But the mothership is waiting. There's going to be an offer that was going to try to blind some of y'all. Some of y'all top gunners going to get offered some shit to shut your motherfucking mouth up. Mm -hmm. You don't see what's going on. You got all these celebrities like Trey Songs. He just got in trouble. Kodak Black. He just got shot in the leg. All this shit going on with you celebrities. A lot of y'all celebrities forgot to do your blood sacrificing. And then you talking about sacrificing yourself. Well, it's not enough. Some of y'all just think y'all can do what the hell y'all want to do and think that it's okay. You have to pay the piper. And then you have to pay the piper because your ancestors is pissed off. A lot of you celebrities wasn't supposed to do what you were supposed to be doing. You didn't do what you were supposed to be doing. Now they're calling on you to use your platform, my celebrities, and you don't want to do it. So you shunned your offer. So now you're becoming a sacrifice. And a lot of you celebrities, it's funny that a lot of men are being called out. You ain't tooting in the booty enough. So now they're going to tell on you and all these sex tapes and all this bullshit going on with you celebrities. Now you're getting shot in the leg. You got them have, getting in trouble for some tooting in the booty with some other female. See what I'm saying? The Jezebel now is coming out on you. A lot of y'all better get y'all shit together because you didn't pay the piper. You're gambling and you're shaking the dice on the six. You better stop straddling the goddamn fence because Shango getting ready to cash. Shango's cashing the fuck in. Shango here. Oya here. Lilith here. Kalima here. Hika here. Sebek is here. Oh, you rolling that dice and you forgot. When you rolled that dice, you rolled the dice the wrong motherfucking way. Shaking your ass the wrong way, my brothers. And you should have never did that. And you lost your indigenous. You forgot your language. You forgot who you were because you chose to give your ass to that flesh. Look at this. Two, two, four, six. Another fall. Guess what? Big Mama relaxing. Waiting on the motherfucker call. And when she gets ready to do that call, because she all in her head marinating. And when she throw them knives, y'all better get ready. Y'all better release her son. And you better release her children. And release hers. Because she getting ready to show who the hell she is. Big Mama about to show everybody who she is. And Big Mama about to release some big ass shit if you don't release a son. We all got to wonder what's getting ready to happen. And see, some of y'all are just trying to go run away and run away and run away. But all fall down. There's a big jubilee getting ready to happen, isn't it? June 2, 22. We ain't done with these fucking portals yet, y'all. All I'm saying is, to all my Haitian people, all my island people, all my people overseas, all my people that is in PA and Virginia and the South, you better call out to your ancestors so you know who got the word. Free Larry Hoover, Angel Bay, and Tookie Williams. Because the word, the bird is the word. And the matriarch is in place. 
and mama just chilling. And if she sets off, you're not going to be too happy. This is the message that I was given. And this message session is now closed. I thank you. And I love you. Peace. I shall.